that a glass or two of red wine is good for us. And some of us like to believe that chocolate might be also. But is there any truth to this? Or are we all just kidding ourselves? Well, the good news is that they both contain a healthy ingredient, antioxidants. Antioxidants fight disease, help us stay young, and reduce the harmful effects modern living has on our bodies. They're the really good guys. Dr. Philip Norrie sees wine as a preventative medicine, and red wine is his passion. Are the antioxidants in red wine higher than in other foods? Yeah, the main antioxidant in wine is resveratrol, and resveratrol is the Rolls Royce of antioxidants. And is it higher in red wine than it is in white wine? Normally it's higher in red wine, yes. We're rusting, we're degenerating, and it blocks or slows down that process. So why can't we just eat grapes? Why do we need to drink wine? To convert grapes into wine, you have to go through the fermentation process, which liberates more of the antioxidants. So it looks like we need to drink wine. Though no long-term human trials have been done, studies on mice show this wonder ingredient has positive effects on longevity, obesity and cardiovascular disease. So Dr Nori is now bottling his own resveratrol-enhanced wine. So what gave you the idea? Well, as a practising GP, I'm sick of seeing people die from preventable diseases like heart attacks, strokes, dementia, diabetes. So I'm into preventative medicine. The best way to treat a disease is not get it in the first place. Absolutely. Cheers to resveratrol. Okay. Well, it passed the taste test, but will it pass the antioxidant test? We sent two bottles of wine to Southern Cross University, a standard bottle of red wine and Dr Norrie's wine. Here, they can measure antioxidant levels using the ORAC table, which stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. So what did they find? Well, interestingly, both red wines had significantly high antioxidant activity despite the large difference that we measured in resveratrol concentration. Resveratrol, while it is a potent antioxidant molecule, there are many more antioxidant molecules in red wine. So all red wine contains high levels of antioxidants, and no matter what type they are, they're all good for you. OK, so dark chocolate has antioxidants, and so does red wine, but which one has the highest amount of all? Based upon a normal serve of one glass of red wine versus two pieces of chocolate, red wine comes out on top in terms of antioxidant activity. So for grown-ups, it'd be fair to say that red wine is preferable, whereas for those under 18, you tend to say chocolate, but not too much. 